get one of them. Get it, mama. I'm gonna get it. And you will too. Keep dancing like that, you bring home some kids you can't feed. <laughs> That's Tammy Anderson. She's smoking hot. She got two sisters and they can all sing. My name is Sticks. Sparkle. Boy, Sick, that's your song? You wrote that? Only if you thought it was good. Girl groups are hotter than ever right now. You should be together singing. My mom used to sing professionally. Maybe you be like your mom and never reach your goals. But don't fall short because you can't admit that you want it. Most intimidating room I've ever been in. Wow! Wow, wow. Yeah. wow. Well, thank you. Done, Get the cameras rolling on that. You said I look handsome. These might be the most beautiful women I've ever seen. Oh, oh man, you're so, a keeper. I had to throw that in there. I, I know you did. I was like, you're one of those. Or just a it's like when the guys, one of the, the girls other. are like, oh, my boyfriend. Right. The guys, like, the girls, the girls are like, the guys are like, you're so beautiful, and you're like, and the girls are like, whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm I got so you. I was following you. Tired I got you. Right yeah. <laughs> like Jake Hamilton, Fox Houston. Don't let me tell They'll edit. Don't worry. That's, no, they won't. That's the part they don't edit. <laughs> this is the part we like. We like the, the real stuff. Now, there's a line of the movie where someone says, "Everybody loves a good girls group," and I think that's true. I'm watching you girls right now, and I saw you girls in the movie, and I just thought every song I love would be made better if you girls sang it. So I was wondering if I could run through some of my own favorite songs, <laughs> and maybe just have you girls just do a few lines to see if you could make that song better. If we know the song. If you know the song. Okay. So, <laughs> my, the, the, the song of my childhood by Sir Mix-a-Lot, ba Baby Got I Back. I like big butts and I cannot lie. These other brothers can't deny. And when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a rap thing in your face, you get... I don't have a big butt. I don't need to Neither do I, but I wrote that song every day. Look at her butt. Becky, look at her butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. I think I cannot lie. Okay, we need a girl in here now. Come on. Okay, the next song of my childhood, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme song. Yo, this is a story all about how my life got tipped upside down. And I'd like to take a minute and just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became a prince of a town called Bel Air. Right, so I'm from English. Well, I'm, oh, like the, oh, I'm no. like the total weak link. That's okay. <laughs> all right, give just, me another just, one. Just okay. say elephant shoes. <laughs> elephant shoes. Act, that's how you act like you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Watermelon. 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 Oh, that's oh. Cool. MC Hammer can't touch this. No, but you have to sit side of this one. Can't touch this. Can't touch I can do the dog. No, I can't even do the Can you do it? Oh, 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 You're on it. Bring out the hammer pants. I like it. See, I knew you girls could make every song about you. Made better. See? Point proven. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Why I hit the man jam? That was it. I didn't even remember if he had lyrics. He was just doing that the whole time. Hell of a time. We're coming up next to the stage. Just going out there and look pretty. But this isn't what we were I know what I'm doing. Sister and her sister. Where in the world did you get those church dresses? <laughs> get this man a drink, he's gonna need one. My babies. I know y'all don't love each other that much. Honestly, to, to obviously change topics a little bit, I, I thought it was very incredible that the last final audible line that Whitney Houston ha has in the movie is, have a great show. And I, thought that was, I just thought that was kind of poetic. I thought that was beautiful. What does that line mean to you now that maybe it didn't necessarily mean then? Um, well, I mean, when we were filming it, we knew that it was something special, but obviously we all didn't know that it was going to be the last thing that she did. Um, a, a lot of the lines that she said when we were filming the movie were definitely, wow, um, you know, she's she's lived through this. And she was very open about it, open and honest. And, um, you know, when she says, have a great show to me, it was just like, as, as a musician, you know, I, I think of that and it's something that I'm just like, okay. And that, that 
that applies to anything. It applies to whether you're going to, you know, do a live acting performance or some improv or doing an actual show or, or going to take a test, um, you know, as, as Dee would have done as a doctor, you know, just having that encouragement in her voice. And she, she really meant it. When we say things to each other in the movie, we all bonded so much that it's real. Mm -hmm. We meant it when we told her what, that we loved her. And she meant it when she called us, you know, my babies. Right. I know y'all don't love each other that much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that, that's the, yeah. that's the yeah. funny thing is it's real. Right. Now, it's a challenge as a reporter to, you know, obviously because it's something that, that we have to talk about. And I know that you guys have probably been talking about it all day. But I was wondering if, if maybe you guys just had like a story, just like not something that was maybe like just like an answer that you've been telling everyone, just like kind of a, a real genuine story from the set that kind of summed up who Whitney Houston was. Yeah. No? Yes? Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, there was a moment where uh, we were filming the dinner scene and we were waiting for things to turn, the camera to turn around. And I, don't, I actually don't remember where you guys went, but I walked into the room where the piano was and um, I was sitting there just plunking things out, just, just sitting and in, in kind of in my own world. And all of a sudden these two hands reached over and started playing this beautiful piece. And I look over and it's Whitney and she's singing like into my ear and there's no other way to describe it. But, um, you know, it was kind of an intimate moment in my own little world. And, you know, for her to do that, she didn't have to do that. She didn't even have to sit and talk with us because of the star right. power she had. And, that was another example that we we all learned from her was you know how humble she was, and um, you're never too big to sit down with somebody or to to smile or Definitely. to you know say hello, and to for Whitney to be that example. I mean it, it was incredible. Absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm glad you girls aren't too big to sit across from me. So they're, <laughs> they're giving me the rap. I Thank think you, you guys are going to lunch now. I think they're, no, they're not. We're not going to lunch. We're not going to lunch. No, we're not I see your beauty. I want to be your man. This is Satin Struthers. I'm looking for a new act to open up for my show. When you see a train that's going to get you to where you're trying to go, <laughs> you got to jump on it. Wow. Was my life not enough of a cautionary tale for you? We are close to getting a record deal. Hell, if I had any sense, I'd be living off you. He did that to you, didn't he? Wow. Are you still going to be a part of the group? Shadows, shadows come. People are trying to destroy what we built. You and me, we started this thing. My heart's still alone. Why would the Lord give me this gift if I wasn't supposed to use it? It takes a lot of faith to do this, Michael. It makes me feel I've done something right. Don't lose it.